what's up and welcome back to my channel. I am so freaking excited. I know I always say I'm excited and I am always excited but today I'm super duper excited because we are going to be taking a look at the Lorac Mega Pro Palette Dos. So I am just unbelievably excited. Thank you to my friends at Ulta Beauty for sending me this before like anybody which is just crazy. I'm so so excited and so grateful so thank you so much. Um, I'm just grateful because it gives my viewers the opportunity to check it out, um, especially with the whole fiasco last time. Many people want to get their hands on the first one. So I'm really excited to kind of be able to give you guys an in-depth show of it to decide if it's like worth you really, you know, bending your back to get. The great news is that this palette is Ulta exclusive. Before we get into details, you guys are probably like, oh, Shay, when can I get my freaking phalanges on this? Well, girls and boys, you can get your phalanges on it on October 4th. It will be for sale in store and online at Ulta Beauty exclusively. So that means they are the only ones who are going to be selling it. So as you probably saw, this palette retails for $59. They have it marked for a 200 it is a $205 value, says Laroque, and this is it here. Isn't it beautiful? It's that same kind of, um, I never know what to call this type of packaging. Everyone calls it the Narzi packaging, so I guess I'll just jump on that bandwagon. The Narzi packaging, and this is the Laroque Mega Pro Original Palette that I just thought I would kind of bring out so we can do a little comparison. Um, so this is them side by side, here and here. I am going to be doing full swatches in just a secchi, but I kind of wanted to let you guys peep it before we get into swatching. So here you have the Mega Pro 2. Up close and personal. We're going to swatch every single one of these on my eyeballs. Can you guys believe it? The one thing is about these palettes is that they're going to get dirty as hell. <laughs> and they're impossible to keep clean, it feels like, but... You know, we're not the Queen of England. We don't really need clean palettes, do we? So here they are side by side. What the hell do you guys think? I could definitely see how some people would think they need both. And I could see how some people would think they don't need both. So I might jump around with what brushes I use in this. Because there's a lot of shadows to put on. And the first shade we're going to try is called Porcelain. Oh! This is so... Oh my gosh. That is really freaking pigmented. The next shade is called Bisque. The next shade is called Sugar. The next shade is called Moonlight. The next shade is called Custard. The next shade is called Lavender. These again, if you are noticing in my swatchings, are very powdery. Um, they're just very buttery. I think they're just a very soft formula. So you're going to want to make sure, as for for example, I'll show you my lavender. As you can see, there's like fallout all over it, and it's really powdery, but that's just, you know, happens sometimes. So just make sure you're not like pounding in there like I probably am. The next shade is called Chiffon. The next shade is called Seashell. The next shade is Tawny. The next shade is Purple. Next is Processo, I believe it's called. <laughs> they had to give us some hard ones. They knew I couldn't say it. The next one is called Peony. The next shade is called Burlap.
The next shade is called Sorbet. The next shade is called Soft Plum. The next shade is Dark Sienna. The next shade is Melon. The next shade is Goji. The next shade is Cinnamon. Next shade is Penny. The next shade is called Tangerine. The next shade is called Cabernet. The next shade is Sandstone. The next shade is either olivine or olivine. Olive vine? Is that how you spell olivine? Jesus. The next color is saddle. The next shade is called ash. The next shade is called Gunmetal. The next shade is called Gold Leaf. The next shade is called Forest. Next is Blue Quartz. The last shade is Black Ivy. Okay, so what did you guys think about the swatches? I think they are beautiful. They're very true to the typical Lorac eyeshadows that we are um, accustomed to. You know, from the Pro palettes, from this original Naked Pro palette. I didn't, I didn't notice any differentiation. <laughs> Is that a word? No. I didn't notice any different feeling in the texture or the consistency. As you saw, I didn't even use an eyeshadow primer. I was just kind of using the remnants of like my foundation and just like whatever was on my foundation brush. I was just kind of setting on my lid before the shadow. And it all, it blended in really nicely. It wasn't too streaky. And I just thought they were all really, really gorgeous. Now, some of you might be wondering if you have the Mega Pro 1, is it worth it to get the Mega Pro 2? Um, and I'll kind of break it down for you. I think the reason why you would like to well, if you already have the Mega Pro Original, the original has a lot of, you know, neutrals, and then you have your um, kind of more dusty plum type of rosy mauve family, and then some purples, burgundies, and blacks, and like a mixed match green and gray. Whereas with the two, you have a lot more warm, brighter, just richer colors, I guess I would say. Like you have the oranges. This palette, however, I think just has. It's just a larger array. Doesn't it feel like a larger array of color? And it might just be that the tones are just different enough, but 
Um, this one I think is going to be a lot more versatile for summer to fall or any type of the year because so I'm actually thinking I prefer this one because I mean as much as I love this and I think you could use this every damn day of the year as well. This one just has those accent colors that you might not want to pick up in singles. You know, maybe you've always wanted to try working in a brighter orange, like a tangerine or a peachy color onto your eye. Oh, this one's a lot like um, Samoa Silk, I'm just noticing, but from MAC, that one that I'm obsessed with that they discontinued. But anyway, this one, it's going to be a great palette for someone who needs neutrals but is looking to venture on into color or already likes to play with color and wants to just have a little bit to mix in. Again, not that this one didn't have color because it has, you know, the mulberry shade and that indigo that's really beautiful, but those are really just berry tones. They really are just very mauvey, berry, and nudes in the original. This one you're going to have a, a green, a blue, the oranges, the purples, still your neutrals, a brighter gold, um, all of these types are really fun, like just super metallic-y. Even though they are kind of like an olive and a gray color, they're still like there's something interesting about them. So I don't know. I really love this palette, you guys. I think that this is going to be so great for everybody. And like I said, um, there's colors you could use in the spring with the lavenders and the purples. Fall, every winter with the blues and the grays. It really covers every season in this palette. Again, I also love that they did two rows of shimmer and two rows of matte so that you really have a nice array or you know, just arrangement of shadows to play with and kind of customize your looks. I love that they still put a black in there, even though their original palette has a black as well. Sometimes brands will put one black eyeshadow on one palette and that's all they ever do, but black's such a nice color to have an accent just to do a little, a little in the crease, you know what I'm saying? The only real repeats I'd say in this palette that I can really notice is obviously the black. Um, Tawny and Camel. Tawny and Camel, though they're not identical, I believe are pretty... Do you see that? They look pretty close to me. Um, so, wow, you guys, that's really all I have to say about the palette. I just love it, so I feel like there's just nothing else to say. <laughs> as far as blending goes, it blended just like every other Lorac shadow ever has for me. You know, they're real buttery, they're real creamy. So I think it's great. I think it's such a beautiful palette, but you know, you guys know what's gonna go fast. So you need to be in stores or online on October 4th. Don't forget, mark it in your calendars. I will make sure to tweet and Snapchat you guys the minute that it goes on sale. So make sure you're following me. I will be up to date with it. I will be stocking that website until it goes live and then I'll let you guys know. So make sure you follow me on all my social media. If you guys like this look, I just filmed it and I can upload it as a tutorial. I don't know if you want to see it or not. So you let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned this week. I have a lot, a lot of fun videos coming up. My workout routine video, which was supposed to go up tonight, but unfortunately, of course me, me planned a workout routine video on a rainy ass weekend so I couldn't film it because I do it all outside. I live in an apartment so I really can't work out on the top floor, I just feel rude. But of course it's raining outside so I can't film myself doing it so I'm hoping to have that up Tuesday or um, just sometime this week. I might even just have to upload it on a non-upload day if I get too behind. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye! <laughs>